President Trump's new health care secretary starts his first week on the job. Tom Price took the oath of office last Friday. Price is a former congressman who has experience as a doctor. He's known for pushing legislation that could be the blueprint for replacing the Affordable Care Act. Price's bill would have offered tax credits focused on a person's age to help people buy insurance policies on the private market. Price has pushed the idea of letting insurance companies offer cheaper, less comprehensive policies to younger people and eliminate Obamacare mandates for insurers to include a standard package of benefits like maternity services and pediatric care. Price also wants to let consumers shop across state lines for health insurance, just like they can for other insurance products. Doctors will be on the front line of these policy changes, and tonight we go in-depth with some perspective from two Austin doctors. KXA and political reporter Phil Prazen reports they want D.C. to fix what's broken, but keep what's working. On the east side of Austin, family physician Dr. Guadalupe Zamora says the Affordable Care Act brought patients in he never saw before. A million Texans now have health insurance. That didn't. Made an impact. Was it a perfect law? No. Was it a great law? Yes. Allowing people to stay on their parents' plan until 26 years old and requiring coverage of pre existing conditions allowed Texas doctors to give more care to more people. If a patient came in here and they had cancer and they lost their health insurance, then most insurances would insure them. But that coverage came with paperwork. Instead of what many were used to, doctors had to type out their notes and complete specialized forms, especially for Medicare and insurance companies. So instead of getting paid for my time with the patient, I get paid for um, having certain bullet points met of my documentation. Neurologist Dr. Sarah Austin said the horror stories about stacks of paperwork are true. But perhaps the biggest drawback, Texans paid more for care and medicine. It was supposed to make medical care more affordable and I think that's the biggest thing, it just hasn't. But in the weeks ahead, both doctors hope Congress won't repeal Obamacare without a replacement. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. Both doctors we spoke with today worry repealing Obamacare without an alternate plan in place is the worst scenario for Texans who would not otherwise have insurance. The numbers show how many people were talking about in 2010. Before that law took effect, one in four Texans did not have health insurance. By 2015, that number dropped to about one in six.